if you're not a hard worker, don't be a drummer. Because a lot of it is a pain in the dick. You just gotta move a lot of shit. Uh, and it's a lot of maintenance. So today I'm gonna take out all my drums and so there's a bunch of crap on them. I'm gonna use some goo gone and, 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 and try to clean them up a little bit because I was looking at them the other day in the sun and they just look horrible. So uh, some days you gotta face the music and you gotta clean your gear. So I'm gonna do that today. But I just wanna show you a little bit what I'm working with here, um, the storage unit. Well, I, I found a flashlight, so I wanted to kind of show you a little more. It's better lighting. Um, so, you know, I'll just show you some of the things you'll run into. I mean, this is a $400 fog machine. It's busted because these damn jacks on the side get kicked by people and they don't work anymore. And you got to send it into the factory. It's just a fucking pain. So, that might be scrap. I used to work in a machine shop for five years. And, number one goal you don't make scrap. That means you don't fuck up a tray of parts, and that's worthless. So, we might have to scrap that, so that fucking sucks. But whatever. That's the new subwoofer. It was pretty on the first day, now it's all messed up, but it fucking works like a goddamn champ. Uh, this trap case. Um, more drum stuff, extra fog juice. Various extra drums in the back. That's all studio gear, I don't want to open it up. Uh, Old busted DM5 modules that I bought. Old cases, more cases, guitars, you know, just a bunch of shit. Uh, this is our drum riser, it's badass. Made by uh, Joey Ancona of our band. Uh, some other speakers. Oh, there's a kick drum. I wanted to work on that today, but uh, I'm not going to move all this stuff until the next gig. So, a bunch of stands, just various crap. You know, I just want to show you guys, um, there's just a lot that goes on behind the scenes to be, oh yeah, there's a DM5 right there, there's one of them. I got two that don't work right, and uh, not digging on D, D, uh, the DM5, it's a badass unit, it's just they're, they get old and they get fucking glitchy. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is a little tour of the storage unit. Uh, I've been trying to move out of here, but like I said, I mean, you know, it's 154 bucks and... It's just convenient. Just really convenient to have all this stuff here. Uh, yeah. There you go. So, I pay $154 every month for that 5x10 unit. But the key is that it's a drive-up unit. So I can drive up the truck right, right to the door and load it all in. So, you know, I pay for convenience. Uh, for right now, you just got to make it work. So that's what we're doing, man. Storage unit. Got to have it. I've had one pretty much most of the time I've been in L.A. And uh, tried to get rid of it last week. Uh, took one trip. I was going to put most of the stuff in my living room. And I said, you know what? That is just such a pain that I'm just going to keep this unit for the while. So keep stuff safe, too. So you don't want a lot of stuff in your place. Um, you know, so it's a good deal in my mind. I mean, it's a lot of money, but whatever. Hit the drums hard.